Hey guys, hello everyone and welcome to the channel. So we have gate official question paper now. We have gate official answer key as well for chemistry and for all the other subjects as well. Now among lot of students there are a lot of questions which you guys want to discuss, which you want to challenge from the official answer key. Among those questions, the one which I have re received a lot of requests is question number 6. Okay, So this is the one I am going to discuss in this particular video. Now question number 6 is a MCQ type question. It's a general aptitude question. The correct answer given for this is option number D and it contains two marks. So obviously this is something which needs to be discussed because it is two marker question. All right. Now uh, if you have watched my previous videos, if you have watched my memory based solution video, I will give you link in the i button as well. If you want, you can watch it again. So if you have watched over there, I have discussed the solution. I have actually not discussed the solution because that time we were not having the question paper. We were not having the exact words of the questions. But there I said that the answer for this was option D only. Okay. So I discussed about this already in the memory based question uh, uh, like over there itself. Right. Now let us come back. So this is the question paper and we are talking about question number 6. So let me take you to that. Yeah, This is the question number 6 over here. Now. As I said that in my memory based question or in the video where I discussed about the memory based questions there only I so said that the correct answer will be that some ferocious creatures are creatures with claws. Okay, So I already discussed about this right now why so much uh, confusion or why so much discussion is going on about this question because see I was not able to explain this question in that video firstly because I was not having the question paper over there. I was not aware about the exact words because you know in memory based questions you cannot remember each and every word of the question. But yeah in the exam itself I did option number D and to make this thing very clear that I only uh, mark general aptitude question in gate or CSNet whatever exam I give because I just go there to see the question paper okay. So that's the main motive of mine fine. So over there also I marked option number D okay and that's the correct answer over here. So why exactly it is let me explain you and, and why the discussion is going on because other coaching institutes other uh, YouTube channels uh, which I have seen from the students itself which they have given me link and uh, you know videos and all. So they have discussed they have said that option A is correct many of them have said option A is correct that's why students are little bit you know they have got carried away with it but it's fine we can discuss about it. So let's let's understand the question okay it's a general aptitude question every one of us can understand it's pure English let's try to understand. What it says is that a forest land is a planet inhabited by different kinds of creatures. So there are different types of creatures creatures means it can be anything okay a plant animal anything. But the creatures generally you, is a word used for something which is movable. So let's consider them as like animals, bird, insects, all them are creatures. Okay. Now among other creatures, it is populated by animals. Okay. So there are other creatures. They have already mentioned it. Okay? There are other creatures and it is populated by animals means animal are more over there. And all of them are ferocious means all the animals are ferocious. Fine. Now there are also creatures that have claws okay so some like there are creatures that have claws also fine and some that do not have okay so it's very obvious some have claws some do not have so all the creatures that have claws are ferocious okay this is also given that all the creatures that have claws they are ferocious now based upon all this information what you can say with certainty okay what you can say logically which is very certain so let's take a example of it that there is a forest land okay it is inhabited by different types of creatures let's 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 assume whatever creature we can assume of okay so let's say we have uh, animals okay uh, or let's say let's say let's let's give them as like this we have birds okay we have uh, uh, amphibians okay amphibians we have reptiles Okay, we have worms, all, all will be creatures, right? Worm is also a creature. Then we will be having, uh, uh, we can have fishes also, they are also creatures, forest land. Okay, let's, let's not assume the water body over there, let's, let's remove that part. But let's say, let's say that we have some mammals also, okay, fine. So these are all, let's for now, we will consider these as the creatures which we have, although there would be many others, but let's take them as example. 
The next line says that among other creatures, it is populated by animals. Means animals are there are a lot of animals. So basically, amphibians. Basically, these uh, mammals will come under animals. So mammals are like they are in majority, right? There are a lot of animals. So these are animals, and uh, they are in majority. Or basically, you can consider amphibians also as animals, and they are in majority. Okay. Now and birds are there. Okay, fine. Let's let's leave bird for now. So they are in majority, or you can say that it is populated by them, and they are all ferocious. Fine, they are all ferocious. It is also said that there are also creatures that have claws and some that do not have. So birds have claws, right? They have claws. Reptiles can also have claws. Some of them have claws, like uh, lizard has a claw, but snake does not have. So reptiles will be like some have, some with claws and uh, some without claws. Worms will be those which will not be having like no claws, right? Worms does not have claws. Worms means like small, you know, caterpillar kind of. Now it says that uh, all the creatures that have claws are ferocious. Now all those who have claws are ferocious. So that makes birds also ferocious. That makes all those reptiles which have claws like lizard ho, or it's it's uh, let's say chameleon or. It can be like um, monitor lizard, all these, all these different types of reptiles, whatever you can think of, which have claws, they are all ferocious, right? Now, what you can say with certainty, let's look upon the options. Option A says that all creatures with claws are animals. It is not necessary that all are animals, right? Some might be reptiles also, which have claws. They are not animals or some might be birds also. They are not animals, fine? So first, you cannot say with certainty. Second comes that some creatures with claws are non-ferocious. Okay, but that is not true because it is clearly said that all the creatures, all creatures that have claws are ferocious. So, second statement contradicts like exactly what is written, right? Third says that some non-ferocious creatures have claws. This again cannot be true because B and C are saying the same thing. Uh, non-ferocious student, uh, non-ferocious uh, creatures uh, cannot have claw because all claws containing of creatures are ferocious. So, that is again going to be incorrect. The only thing which you can say with certainty is that some ferocious creatures are creatures with claws. How is it true? Because see, it is said that all those which have claws, they are uh, uh, ferocious, right? And it says that some ferocious creatures are creatures with claws because these are not all the animals, right? These, the one which have claws, they are not co uh, going to consider all the ferocious things. There are some animals also which do not have claw. They are also, uh, you know, they are also ferocious. So that's why we can say that some ferocious creatures, theke, uh, are creatures with claws. So they are the creatures which, which, which are having claws. So that's why this is the only statement. The only statement that makes sense over here is option number D. It cannot be correct. It says all creatures with the claws are animals. It's not true. There are other things also in the forest land. They are not animals. Okay. And uh, they have claws. Right. So that's how you have to think about it. And that's how you have to answer it. All right. So that only thing which you can say with certainty is option D. And that's why it is correct. No need to challenge this question. Uh, from my side, I cannot uh, suggest you to challenge this question. It's totally correct. The answer key is totally correct. So, don't uh, go for challenging this question. If you have any other, uh, you know, opinion or if you have any other argument against it, you can drop down in the comment section below. I can read about it. I will try to answer you over there itself. And that's it for this video. I'll try to take other question also, which you guys have uh, commented on the community post. I'll try to discuss them also in the next video. Till then, have a great day. Bye-bye. Take care and uh, see you guys in the next one. Hey guys, so I teach live on Unacademy Plus platform. Here I teach for the CSI or UGC net category and you can follow me over here for regular classes. You can access my free classes as well as my paid classes on this particular platform. The classes which are free, you can get that under the section of special classes. Whereas in order to access my paid classes, paid live classes, you have to take Unacademy Plus subscription. So do make sure that you take the Unacademy Plus subscription to access all my paid classes which are quite organized. The whole syllabus is being completed over there and the classes are quite regular over there. So make sure that you take an Academy Plus subscription by using my referral code that is N underscore Huda. That's it for this. Thank you so much.